What up, though, Heist Man the Foe? Things I seen on Twitter part seven. Man. Right now, I'm doing this right after I got done doing the show. So, if you look at the show Friday, you're like, hey, he got on the same shirt. I do. Because this is, I'm going to put this out Sunday. That's what I do. Um, put this out on Sunday to have some more content. And um, I got a little time right now. So, I'm going to do this right now. <coughs> like I said, it's got to do a talk that talk or talk that talkaholic, some iteration of talk that talk. I do every Friday night, Friday night at 9 p.m. I'm still feeling myself with wine. <laughs> Cheers to the red cup. This Sunday morning, y'all, we got to act like this Sunday. So we act like we not on the red cup. First thing I seen on Twitter made me smile, laugh. I just want to show y'all. Look, here we go. So a lot of people won't get this. I didn't get it the first time I seen it. I'm looking like, man, I don't get it. What are you talking about? Look to the comic section. They're like, hey, look. The motor ain't in the front of the Volkswagen Beetle or the Bug. Is it the Bug? Punch Buggy or the Beetle? I thought it was called the Beetle back in my days. You know, people change names, things, and stuff like that. So we don't know. I think that's the Bug. But anyway, the motor ain't in the front. What's another one? So the world is a cat playing with Australia. I like that, man. I do like they playing with Australia. If you, you know. Yeah. It's a cool picture, though. I like cats. What else? If someone from 1981 suddenly woke up in 2023, what would surprise them the most? When we put this question out, a lot of people said the same thing. Cell phones. And that may be true. I mean, they did have cell phones back then. I think they had the, um, what's my man's name from Wall Street? The big one. The big cell phone. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But um, a lot of people say cell phones, especially like a camera phone and stuff. You can talk to somebody right there, FaceTime. What's it called? I like that. Ooh, so what kind of status is this? When I seen this, I was like, oh, come on, man. He said, Nuni Omat. He said, has not seen father since 1996. I don't know what kind of stat that is, but man, that's dirty. That's grimy. Why would y'all do that to that young man? Put his business out there like that. He has the African name also. So he might have, he might have been over here in the States doing something like playing ball or something. He can't go straight to poverty levels or whatever. I guess not, but y'all see that. I don't know how they put that. Has not seen father since 1996. Why would you do that? Mm, mm, mm. This right here said, told my aunt WAP means worship and praise. She posted on Facebook, giving WAP all day. <laughs> Where that? Y'all know the rest. I'm trying to stay monetized. <clears throat> all right, what else? So we got another one. Say this is what Abraham looked like if he had a cell phone back then. This play about to be lit. John Wilkes Booth. Mm, mm, mm. That was kind of funny when I saw it. What else? <laughs> I think we had the wrong brother in the That speaks for itself, man. Come on, man. <clears throat> I ain't make this up. Y'all did. This is the internet. It's all the stuff I seen on Twitter. A paper straw and a plastic wrapper. The green movement in a the green movement in a single picture. That is string. <laughs> that is true though. He said, "You are giving this car for free, gas and maintenance for life. Would you drive it?" And my answer is, "Yeah, I drive that. I'd be the chicken pimp. This is a Cadillac. You getting free gas and maintenance? How much gas is?" Gas go up and down, it fluctuates, it increases value, decreases value. I don't know. It's supposed to be dinosaur bones. This right here. Mm. When I seen this, I was like, oh. It said, my wife sent her, it said, a wife sent her husband a picture and said, come home early. I got a surprise for you. He raced home, almost crashed in the car. Think about it, he was about to get something lucky. You know, he thought he was going to get the, the snappy nappy dugout. And he found out she just adopted a black cat. When I first seen this picture, I'm like, oh, she got him. Oh, that's a cat. Oh, look at the cat. 
on Twitter. That's what I seen on Twitter. This right here. <laughs> we dissected this picture a couple times, man. This is NBA players if they was women. <clears throat> a lot of dudes was like, hey. She kind of, hey, hey. In the chat. We can tell who the ugliest one is. Is this LeBron or James? What's the thing is Antoinette Davis? Kevon Durant. Oh, look at Zion. Witt. This is AI that did some of these, these pictures. This was, um... <laughs> a lot of people said, um... Stephanie Curry. <clears throat> said Stephanie Curry. Um, who else? And LaMelo Ball. There's some bad bees. Um, no. He's like, girl, you look like your daddy. <laughs> All right, what else? He said, can anyone else tell me what this sign mean? I don't know what this sign mean, but look. They don't have a no sign in front of us, so they ain't saying no. You can't. I, I don't know. That sign look, um... Lena the Plug, Adam 22... Wife, <laughs> leaning the plug in that dude, man. That's wild. Yeah, look at this. They say you got to pick one of these chips, yo. These some nasty flavors, man. This is orange juice and toothpaste. And the banana juice. I never heard of banana juice ever in my life. Um, Diet Mountain Dew, Couch, Haggis, and watermelon, pepperoni dog fart. First of all, what the hell is Haggis? I don't know what Haggis is. Haggis. Pepperoni dog fart and couch. Get out of here, man. Y'all just, yeah, you know. Orange juice and toothpaste. That's nasty. Onion and banana juice. I don't know what, if you'd have said banana and onion juice, I, I, I could have understood the taste. But onion and banana juice, I don't get banana juice. They don't make banana Kool-Aid. There's always strawberry banana. Like, can, can they not extract juice from banana? Because it's always that banana flavoring from everything you taste. You haven't had a banana soda or banana pop. You always had banana flavoring. So, banana juice. I don't know. I think everybody went with um, Diet Mountain Dew because Diet Mountain Dew ain't all that bad. You know, it just tastes like Mountain Dew. Diet. Diet has a taste. This dude right here is Miles Turner. He played for the. Indiana Pacers. He had a summer league game. And everybody said, look, he looks like somebody ain't he. Mm. 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 Y'all make your own judgments, men. Women, people out there. Um Ah, come on, man. That dude, if you play center. When you play center, that means you're a big man, strong and powerful. And you sitting up there looking like somebody ain't he. Look like you want to call foul on everybody. Don't touch my baby. You like somebody mama out there. Ah oh, man. That's how they, I ain't that cool to dress like that, man. That's cool. I ain't cool. I ain't cool, man. I ain't cool. I can't, I can't, I can't dress like that. Wow, we had a debate on this one right here. They say you can only watch one year of black movies, 1990. House Party, Mo' Better Blues, 1991. House Party 2, Boys in the Hood, Five Heartbeats, New Jack City, Strictly Business. 1992, Juice, Class Act, Mo' Money, Boomerang, Malcolm X. 1993, CB4, What's Love Got to Do With It? Um, Minister Society, Poetic Justice, Sister Act 2. 1994, Fresh Crook, Crooklyn, Jason Derrick, Above the Rim, Low Down, Dirty Shame. 1995, Dead Presidents Waiting to Exhale, High Learning Vampire in Brooklyn Friday. 1996, Set It Off, Don't Be a Minister, South Central while Drinking Your Juice in the Hood, A Thin Line Between Love to Hate the Preacher's Wife, Fat Beach. 1997, Baps, Love Jones, Ease by You, Soul Food, Booty Call. <laughs> 1998, Belly the Players Club, I Still Got a Groove Back, Why Fools Fall in Love and He Got Game. 1999, In Too Deep, The Best Man, The Wood in Life. I think a lot of people picked 1991. There were some great movies in 1991. My personally favorite would have been 1990. Cause like the life, the wood, in too deep. But I can watch every last one of the movies, and I've watched every last movie on here on this list right here. These lists. Um, 
1990 only had two movies. House Party, great movie. Still one of the best rap battles I've ever seen. Um, Kid and Play when they at the house party. Mo' Better Blues, it was all right. I haven't seen that in probably since 1990. So maybe I'll go back and watch that. 1991, House Party, Boys in the Hood, Five Heart Beats. Eh, I, you know, this, this was a great year. New Jack City, great movie. Strictly Business, great movie. So 1991 really is good. House Party 2 wasn't that great. I ain't like the Pajama Jammy Jam. It was all right. It was all right. It, it went on with the, you know, it went on with the the brand of House Party, but it wasn't that good as I put me another drink. It's still Friday, it's still Sunday morning, but it's Friday night, for, really, but I'm feeling it. 1992 was Juice Class Act. It was a good movie. It kept, it kept with the brand of the House Party. So, Mo Money, Boomerang, Malcolm X. 92 was good. Juice was a great movie. Class Act was good. Mo Money, great. Boomerang, you know, Eddie Murphy got off his funny. He got off his funny stuff. You know, he was doing movies then. And Malcolm X, like, it was a great story, but it's, it's better watching it now versus watching it back then. 93, CB4, what's Doug got to do with it? Ike Turner was putting that beats in. Minister Society, Poetic Justice, Sister Act 2. I don't think I seen Sister Act 2 or Sister Act 1. Wasn't nothing about me wanting to see Whoopi Goldberg singing in another suit. So, yeah. 94, Fresh Crook, Crooklyn. It was all right. I ain't like about the, the, the story of it, the mama dying and all that. Yeah. You know, Jason Lyric, good. You know, still kind of soft side of that. Above the Rim, great. Low Dry Under the Shame. Okay, cool. 95, Dead President's cool. Eh, ain't stuck no chick flick way next here. High Learning was a great movie. I went to the movies and saw that. And I remember coming out of the movie theaters. Or theater. We were seeing High Learning. And like we went to the 7 o'clock show. And like at 9 o'clock when we came out. is people waiting to go to the 9 o'clock show. And people was looking at us like. God damn what did they just see? Like. Wait, what, what, what happened? Yeah. Everybody looking at us like, God damn, what happened? It was like, like, oh, like, everybody know what happened with Tadasia and Michael Rappaport. <laughs> you know, it, that was a moment right there in 1995 seeing High Learning. So, Bustin' Rhymes did his thing, Fudge, Ice Cube. Like, that's a great movie, man. Like, Michael, like Michael Rappaport, like, he didn't, he did his thing, like, could nobody do that movie but him because he he was so embedded into the hood. I'm going long on this conversation right here. Might as well. Fuck it. We're having a good time right now. I'm going to do all the movies. Talk about them. Vampire in Brooklyn. I love that movie. 1995. We're still on that. Vampire in Brooklyn. I like Vampire in Brooklyn. It was um Eddie Murphy. Oh, and what's my man's name from New Jack City? Alan Payne. He was in it. You had in, um, Angela Bassett. She did her thing. That was dope. So that was good. Um, you, tell the truth. You beast fucked though. You beast fucked up. <laughs> I love that part, man. Vampire Book. 95 had some good movies. Way Next Hell, you raggedy bitch. That was all right. Friday, one of my favorite movies of all time. I wish I can go back in time. i never seen Friday so I can see it again for the first time. I went to the movies and saw that also. Would you care to tear a birthday? April 29th. Remember that. Boom. 96, set it off. I can, I don't want to see no bitches shooting up nothing. I ain't really like that. Um, Don't Be a Menace. Great movie. Great parody movie. Like, I like the Wayne Brothers in that. They did their thing. Thin Line. I can never see that Thin Line. It was good for Martin, but one of them love stories. Yeah. Um, the Preacher's Wife. I can deal without that. Remember seeing? I seen that in um in school. Is that yeah the preacher's wife? That had to do with Christmas time. I think I seen that in Prancer. Around the same time in school, and Prancer is a great movie. Also, it's like one of the best Christmas movies. Um, back when Christmas movies were Christmas movies. Hold on, if y'all remember Christmas movies, man, Christmas movies used to have something to do. I'm going all off topic now. We is out of the realm. This ain't what I seen on Twitter, but I'm I'm in my mode. This is Friday, and I'm recording this Friday night instead of Sunday. You record these on Sundays, but Prancer, great 
Christmas movie. They don't make Christmas movies no more because all Christmas movies now are Valentine's Day movies. Like all Christmas got to do with Christmas. love, love. Christmas movies to me was a mission. You had to get back home for Christmas for something. You had to help Santa Claus help deliver the presents. You had to help get the reindeer bled from being broken. Oh, Prancer fell off the shit. We got to get him back. We got to help him get back to Santa Claus. We had to get back home. Everything, man, look at all these Christmas movies now. And it's Christmas in love. Christmas on vacation. Falling in love. Christmas with the office clerk. Christmas guitar singing. I'm, I'm telling you, every Christmas movie now is a Christmas love story. But I digress. That was Preacher's Wife. Had, that's, I seen that around the same time, though. Fat Beach, underrated movie, Brian Hooks, and um, the fat dude from, what's his name, Jermaine something? From, um, you play Steel in Juice. I think, yeah. No, I don't think Brian Hooks was in it. I think the Steel was in that. Fat Beach. Baps! It was alright. It's better now watching it. Love Jones, one of the greatest love stories ever told. I love Love Jones. Like, that's a real great movie right there. That's in my top at least 25. What's my man name? He played Omar. He played, no, he, Lorenz Tate. Um, Ease By You. No, I'm not watching that. Soul Food. Fat Woman Getting the Foot Cut Off. Booty Call. Funny, but it's outdated. It's, it's Jamie Foxx and Tommy Davis. Too aggressive, funny, just nah. So 97 out. Belly, 1998. Great movie. Players Club, great movie. How said I got a groove back? No, bitch. Why fools fall in love? Lorenz Tate. It was all right. I, I know the story of Frankie Lyman or whatever. I think that's his name. He got game. Great movie. Belly, the crazy thing about Belly, I seen that in school also believe it or not you might not understand this but I went to Highland Park High School in Detroit Michigan Highland Park Michigan and um I watched Belly on bootleg in Miss Johnson's science class that tell you how bad that school was we watched Belly on bootleg in her classroom true story first time I ever seen Belly when it first came out is in high school. If you know that movie, you know you almost be watching that movie with no children around. I seen that in high school. Mm, mm, mm. 1999. This this is the one I picked because I can watch all these movies. I can watch In Too Deep. I can watch The Best Man. I can watch The Wood and I can watch Life. In Too Deep, great. The Best Man, dope. The Wood, great movie. I love that one. And Life, like, come on, man. I love those movies. Damn, I'm going too long with this. It's supposed to be 20 minutes. Might be longer. All right, here we go. Let's get into something else. This right here. They said, pick the best green characters, the best three green characters. I like the, hey, dum dum, the dude with the big head on um the Flintstones. Blanker. He only had a few more. Do the little electrical ball. Yeah. I like number seven. I like the, um, the Wicked Witch. Cause she was mean and aggressive, trying to get a point across. We trying to whoop some ass. I like that, and I like Piccolo. I like number nine. So those were mine. Mine was three seventy nine. Tell me y'all picks in the chat. What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, this made me smile when I seen this. This is a black cat. They got the Coca Cola logos on their body, with the cap on the top. Eh. I seen better. I seen a little puppy dog look better than that, but um, it's pretty cool too. It got it got a little smirk out of me. I seen this all the all this I'm showing y'all. I seen on Twitter. Me like, <laughs> you see this? This right here was kind of cool. Um, the pattern on my dog chest looked like a cat mid sneeze, and it does. Hi, you, Gazunta, bless you. All those words y'all know when y'all say um when you sneeze. That was pretty cool. I seen that. I'm rushing. I seen this. Somebody have an obituary of Ricky. Ricky! Boys in the hood. See how it all comes back? This is a official obituary of Ricky. And man, he was going to make it out the hood. Kind of. Because USC is still in the hood. If anybody knows the location of USC. 
in Compton <laughs> or Crenshaw, whatever, whatever ghetto that is. I'm not from there. I don't know really, but um, what I've heard is that's where it's at. But I thought it was pretty cool. And he has my birthday. Me and him born on the same day. Let me his part. Nine years. This right here. Somebody caught somebody grandmama wearing a cane shirt at the um local store. It looked like Walmart or something. And you got shoes and like look like frozen yogurt or butter. So yeah, this might be Walmart. But um she bought this shirt. She was killing it. She and somebody um <laughs> ha, she looked like Kane. And they took a picture of this old lady wearing I guess it's, I'm not gonna age this woman. No ageism here. Creep me out right here. These things right here. I don't know what this is. Shadow people. Oh, I don't know. But these are plastic bottles and these are the figures that made. Creeps me out. It's Friday. I'm home alone right now. My family went out of town. And all the creaks and sounds. I hear my cat running around. I got to go feed her too in a sec. But um, anything I hear now is, hey. Ain't nobody home. I'm home by myself. I'm home alone. Which ice cream would you pick right here? One, two, or three? My pick was number one. My co-host, Primzilla, his pick was number two. I picked number one because, and I don't even like straight vanilla ice cream, but vanilla ice cream, from what I'm thinking, is McDonald's. It looks like it. McDonald's vanilla ice cream is ah, magnificent. I like that taste. It has a very creamy vanilla flavor to it and I picked that one but it was up to me I probably picked two also to have just two different ones and it has the most ice cream on it you know by size by the looks of it so and straight chocolate is like ah, okay yeah whatever but I and I only want straight vanilla but if that's McDonald's ice cream that vanilla pretty dope I like that this right here that's asked the question men is this too big for you right here um a lot of people's it, like this this was on Twitter I seen they was asking was this lady right here too big for you and I was and I went through the research of the comments and they said that she had to be just catfishing um fishing for compliments that's what I said because come on man like they said she was fishing for compliments well, we're not going to talk about it. Look at this right here. Some woman put up a thing said, My baby daddy left this on my doorstep. This is wrong, and he should do better. Most of this is junk food. Bitch. Look at this. This dude brought all this over here. This is, was dissect the food that he brought over there. Left on her doorstep. Look like she capping, first of all. Look like this is, is straight up Walmart delivery. Like she got this delivered. So we got to put that in. She might, cause I look, I get shit delivered all the time. My wife, she do this all the time. Deliver food to the house, especially during the quarantine. They were like, look, deliver the shit, drop it off at my doorstep. I open up my door and get my shit. You move, keep your mask on, all that. We know that. We know that. So this look like a delivery, but she said he did this and like, come on, man. So, but she said this ain't nothing but junk food. Two loaves of bread, two peaks. I see some grease. My cousin pointed out them with Ninja Turtle pizzas, lemonade, milk, chips. I see some pot pies, some noodles, cereal, more sodas. I see some Takis. Man, get out of here. If she not capping about him leaving on her steps, that's what the kids going to eat. And big shout out to him. Or she just capping and that's a delivery she got ordered to the house because I've got all that delivered to the house in the same fashion, just like that. Only thing about it, I will say everything did have bags. So leaving all this stuff laid out like that, maybe she laid it out like that because if walk, who, how you not going to get a bag for, for this stuff, for two pizzas, the, the drinks, the juice, the cereal. So sh somebody capping. Got to call BS on this. But the story was she was talking bad about her baby daddy. Like a dragon. <sighs> Blowing smoke. Oh, they said, well, you forget to, um, not before you open the refrigerator. These are two tomatoes. 
two tomatoes. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but this is what happens when you do not knock on the refrigerator door before over that. This right here made me laugh out loud literally when I seen this post. It said, I dated this blind girl till she broke up with me a few weeks ago. It said, guess who's back with a different voice? That that got me right there. That gave me a real genuine LOL. The, 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 the laugh out loud, that made me do that. I liked that one a lot. I'm hearing in my voice. I'm talking all night on the show. And I started doing for 25 minutes. Wow. Here we go. Oh, no, I'm under attack. Literally, you just a picture of a. Hold on, I got a sound for that. Do I got a sound? Where's my soundboard. <laughs> there we go. And that was it. So that were the things I seen on Twitter this week, part seven, I believe this is. We go through the channel, look at all the other ones I made. Of just like things I seen on Twitter, I do this every Sunday, but today, like I said, I'm doing it Friday because I got a little bit of time. So, till next time, I see you. I'll let your boy Ice Man Nicole hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, notification bell, all them good buttons you gotta hit to get this paper that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Peace. All right. This time, but I'll be back, and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.